So has the horn on your boat stopped working? And is this what you have, this mess underneath? Are you in the mood for a uh, expensive repair at the shop? Or would you like to just fix it yourself? Because you know what? There it is right there. That's the horn. Now, if yours is doing what mine does, it just makes sort of a clunky noise when I hit the button. Now, personally, I hate replacing expensive parts. I like to see what's wrong with them. Either something's come loose, or something's corroded, something's dirty, something's bent. Anyway, let's take this puppy off and see if we can find something out. This nut right here, 10 millimeter, real easy to take off, and then just two spade connectors on the back. It's uh, fairly easy to get to on some boats. You know, be careful because once you take the nut off, it wants to fall and there's a rubber washer on the back there. So my idea is rather than replacing this, rather than spending a lot of money on a part, let's just see what we can do. One thing I've done already is this terminal right here, it was really iffy. It was like the wires were falling off. So I've already replaced it. Don't pay any attention to the color of the terminals, but you've got your orange wire and your black wire. Obviously the orange is hot and the black is ground. So I've already tried the connections and it's still not working. So next option is this little screw right here. Now it had a bunch of, um, white marine uh, silicone, I think it was the 3M silicone around it. And I'm thinking, hey, I think that screw might do something. So let's try this. Let's try turning the screw. I've already tried blowing it out with compressed air, but okay, all in all, I turned that in at about, I think I did about four turns all together. So let's see if we still get the clunk or... Hey, 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 quick, easy fix. The fixer of all things won this battle in short order. So there you go. If your horn has stopped working, try that little screw. I backed mine out about five times, then I put it back to where it was, and then I went forward a couple times, you know, in a couple times and it started working. So hope that helps you as well. Let's reinstall it and then we are good to go. Of course, you don't wanna over tighten that because it's a rubber washer behind it. And now we have a boat horn. And what is the good of it? Well, you know, a boat horn lets everybody inside the boat know that the horn is being operated. How effective it is outside the boat, I'm not so sure, but you need some kind of sound signaling device to be legal. Fixer of all things, once again, glad to have fixed that and not had to even spend any money. I hope it helps you too.